I am going to do a bit of freestyling here, but the goal is going to be to make this a bit of a tutorial or guide as to how to do the first 100 or so cycles, particularly with all achievement run for uh, including locavore, carnivore and super sustainable, which are the tricky three. And what I'm going to do is try and talk through the thought process. I'm going to go with uh, the normal difficulty classic asteroid for spaced out, which is quite similar to the base game. So hopefully this applies to both versions of the game. Right, I have a seed. Oh, that's, that's the wrong thing to copy. I have a seed that I found on tools not included. Um, it's just because I think this is an interesting map. Um, but let's not worry too much about that. Um, this will be suitable. Excellent. Right, so game settings wise, I can leave these on default. So I've got care packages, um, everything pretty standard. There's no problem with that. And we're going to jump in. So. Oh, hello. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce your name. It's very much like Kamikaze, but uh, spelling's a little different. Kim, hi Kim. Thanks for jumping in. I don't think I've actually had anyone in my stream before. I've just been sat here by myself. But uh, we'll see. Right. Um. If you've got Locavore and Carnival, I mean, you've probably done most of the, <laughs> the difficult bit. Super sustainable is um, inevitable as long as you don't accidentally build the wrong generator. So that isn't too tricky. Um, I suppose you can run into problems trying to keep your base up whilst doing that. So here we go. Tubes. Now, I usually like to get triple interest ones um, because later on that means I get more morale rather than specializing them early. I know you can do that. There's kind of two ways. Now I do also have the um, DGSM on so I can configure my dupe so I will be using that um, but it's not that important I think um, as long as you get something reasonably um, reasonably balanced you'll be alright. So we've got one plus one minus and I'm just going to think with these. So um, I always like having a digger obviously and a builder and usually with that um, we'll get supplying so that'll give us the strength then um, I was torn between increased um, digging and increased uh, building because actually the building usually takes longer but I will go for where's the one uh, Oh, hands, I've just gone right past it, so I have to go right around. There's so many skills now. Oh, hands, perfect. And then negative, yes, yeah, go with that. Anything's good. And I usually go with Cryer, but whatever. And I go with Super Productive. So um, I've got one digger builder. I need a scientist. I definitely need a scientist. So again, I'm just going to get three here. <laughs> a digger, builder, and an electro. Yes. Yeah. So I, th I think you're on the right line. So I'm going to go with the digger, builder, and one. I'm going to go with like a, um, a scientist, obviously for the researching, because that's really important. So I'm going to go researching. Uh, suit wearing. Do I have rocketry piloting? Is that a thing? Oh, it is. There we go. Um, let's go rocketry, and then. Let's go with increased science. That's usually the one to go for. Where is it? Uh, strength, machinery, science, perfect. Uh, what have we got? Decreased something. No. So a lot of these are really bad, and a lot of them don't make any difference. Right, it's going to be cooking and that, and perfect. Cryer and bad creativity. 
Hmm. Yeah, bad. Uh, the the creativity one might be an interesting one actually. I hadn't really thought about that. Um. Right. I did notice as well. These are um, I've gone with two one two, although you can balance them differently. Right. So operating. I think operating is the right one. Uh, I always get confused with these. Supplying. Do I need suit where I think operating supplying Do I need researching too? I'm gonna go with researching. Already had it. Ah. Um Let's go with, uh, I like strength, that's good. So you're saying the uh, the decor one. Uh yeah. That's pretty good actually. I guess that's more of a bonus than even a, a negative. I'll have to take that one. Um, but yeah, I think generally these aren't that important. I'm just uh, maximizing them here with this mod. But uh, um, what should we call it? Call it something fun with a hundred in the name. Oh, I hate coming up with names. Why can't I type? Yeah. Okay, I can't. I thought you could type in here. Am I just going mad? Oh, I can. Um. Oh. I'm just going to go with 100 base. That's not a very, very interesting name, but we'll go with it. Right, okay. So I've chosen this as an Oceana start. So we've got a... Um, a temperate biome. So the sandstone and the algae and the copper. Uh, most of the planetoids have this, some of them have a forest start, so just to be aware if you're starting on there, it's a bit different. It's also quite a lot more difficult to do carnivore if you're doing it on that, because you're going to have pips and not hatches. So, um, immediately cycle one target is going to be getting three beds, three toilets and three sinks, that's the minimum. Uh, and I'm already trying to think about where I'm going with water, because obviously you've got water below, so I need to get down there for a pitcher pump. Uh, and temperature is something that I'm going to check. So um, I've got reasonably hot igneous rock, although it's not going to be a major problem, up and down, and some salt water. So a caustic biome above and a salt water biome below. My cooler areas to the left, so I suggest if I was going to start blocking out a base, and bear in mind I keep the printing pod in the middle, I'm probably going to put my ladder down the left side of that so I can go into this um, more temperate area rather than building to the right and getting caught up in the in the hotter areas, although it's not going to be a major issue for us. So with that in mind, I'm going to start building a central shaft down here uh, and I'm going to speed it up to a reasonable speed uh, and we're going to start building and digging. So. Uh, kind of in terms of planning this out, I'm not going to go too heavy because I can't see anything and there's no point committing to, to stuff that I don't know about yet. So what I can do um, is go down here uh, and I'm just going to prioritise going down so that I can get to the water. Uh, I'm going to keep this floor in so I can put that there like that. Uh, and I'm going to put toilets above the the water because that's probably a reasonable place uh, and then I'm going to plan out so I want rooms of 16 because that is kind of the maximum room size 4 by 16 for for most of the the bedroom bathroom normal kind of room so that's going to look like this size so I'm planning for that already I know here I'm going to want door and some wall tiles to close it off um, and then that means I can work out I'm going to have one, two, three, and I will have a fourth one, but I'm not going to build a fourth one because it will take them too long. So I'm going to leave the space and build three more. And I'm going to cancel that. So that's going to give me the layout for that. And I'm just going to prioritise that, just so they don't go up here yet. Um, and then, again, I'm going to leave room for a door and some tiles so I can make the room bonus. And I'm going to put three here, even though it means I need to do that. So, yep, good easy location there. They're always close, aren't they? So it's not too bad. Um, but I'm just doing the absolute minimum here. I need to to get everything up by the end of cycle one, which is uh, 
is it's usually doable. 99% of the time, it's difficult to get everything done. So let's uh, see how well we do. And right, so we've got a bit of a swampy biome down here, which is interesting. Um, temp's not too bad, so this is quite nice. And let's do that and that. Yeah, of course, yeah, you're right. So absolutely we'll need doors, but doors are my second priority. So let's get the beds done first and the toilets, and then we will um, worry about that. So I'm going to press priority seven on those and make sure that they can use them. And we'll keep going on the beds. Uh, Then we can dig this stuff out. Right, and we've got bed and bath, and we should have bed and bath by cycle one. And we're building that. Right, so... Now, from here, we need to have a little bit of a think what I'm going to do. So, I need to make room for some ranches. I'm not going to go to the right here, because this should be a dead end for the toilets. In fact, I'll put that on left, so we can go left. Um, I'm gonna, we'll have to collapse this water, um, so the ranches, they don't mind being a bit hotter, so I could go up. This is quite cool. Could just go left. Um, I'm thinking... Okay, we've got a bit of an idea, so we'll go up here, just make sure we do the door. Um, and we'll wipe this up. And I will put... I will. Yep, that's it. I will put um, put this on the right side to keep the heat slightly on this this way. So yeah, cycle one achieved. Definitely should be getting all all of that done. And I do have I do have the two room bonuses, so that's good. Not that I need them because the morale's not an issue. Um, but that's a goal. I think important to point out I'm not digging the oxalite because if you dig it, you lose half the mass. And then you lose half the oxygen, so if you can, leave it to off-gas, leave it to off-gas, and you get some free oxygen. Yeah, and as Kem's saying, research is next, so um, obviously if you're going for an all-achievement run, you need to get the stuff up quickly, so research is going to be important. I'm going to leave uh, that there, and we'll put that in like that. We'll start planning this out, and I'm going to have a computer and a supercomputer required. Uh, and I'm just leaving the floors as they are for now. Uh, research station. And again, I'm just going to prioritise build the stuff first, and we'll worry about the rest later. down here right so ranching I think oh, I've got a room up here some water in there and a vending machine I think the ranches should probably go to the left and I can go left and down and there's lots of space now for carnival oh, the floor's fallen out this is the uh, problem with using lots of light as it is but, uh, let's get that built please it's just running forever right now um you don't need to rush for the food and the ranching um, technologies because the limiting factor is usually um, the ranching skill. So uh, I'm going to go for the supercomputer super first because that's always a good bet. Um, and now the logic here as well is that you can get your first duplicate at cycle 3 before your other dupes get skills. So what you'll find is the quickest way to get a dedicated rancher isn't to choose one from the front start and then wait for the skill point. It's to get them at cycle three and make them a rancher. Now, the other key thing here is that we need to dig and we need to dig a lot because I don't see any hatches currently and the hatches will be buried in these objects. So we need to dig them out uh, and we need to dig them out quickly. 
Uh, and what I'm going to do as well is leave this plant. So I'm going to put tile over that so we dig it. And I'm going to harvest that. That I'm not even going to bother. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll put the bristle blossoms on harvest as well. But they probably won't get enough light. The shrine bugs might do it. Who knows? We'll see. So I'm looking for hatches, and hatches will be buried in these tiles. And, uh, and Ashkan is definitely going to get himself stuck there. See that one coming? One, two, three, four, five. So standard tiles facing two, three, four, five. So the floor would go here. Uh, that. Yeah. Definitely got to watch out for uh, two straps. Ah, I have a hatch in the bedroom. That's a good kit. Oh, I have two. There we go. So I've already found two, but I want to find as many as I can, because the more I've got, the better the start. Right. Research complete. That's just the first tier. What are you doing, Ashkan? Please. Um, and an important thing to point out is I've left a two tile gap here down the middle because I'm going to put a fire pole in. So planning ahead, usually poles and ladders go together. No point doing uh, doing one right. So I'm going to keep digging. I'm liking the look of this copper as well. And I'm keeping the room structure intact as well. So I'm leaving natural floors in for now. Although I could dig, I could replace them with tiles. I'll keep going. Um, yep. Just making sure this doesn't get dug. Otherwise the water's going to start spilling out. And I'd rather not do that. Even though I can channel it into here. But why bother? Right. I also haven't put any oxygen in. Which would be a good idea. So why not do that? Just going to whack that in. Although I can live off the oxalite for quite a while. There's oxalite up here. Over here. And obviously the ones in my starting areas are depleted. But... That's good. Again, just try and keep this up. Yeah, I can add another bed, although I will have to add the floor with it. So let's um, let's prep for that. Usually not that critical. And also at this point, now I can put in that and that, and I will dig that. And I'm just going to slightly prioritise these just to make sure they get done. Where's it? Ah. So Rowan's managed to pee himself, so this is this is uh, this is not going well. I'm gonna mop that up. And what I'm also gonna do is just make sure Rowan is my researcher, is prioritized for that. Cool. Alright, so mop that up. Yes, do try and keep the shine bugs away because if the shine bugs get in the bedroom, you will have to murderize them. But I don't mind doing that. See, what I should do is just prioritize those as well. Keep the research going. The research is important. How's this oxygen? Right, and I'm going to keep this at seven. I find if you don't prioritize the toilets, they yeah. Uh, they will back up. Right, research completed, so we've got the advanced supercomputer, and I don't have enough metal ore, which is rather annoying. So I'm just going to ask them to dig that out. And in the meantime, we can do some basics. So normally, we need to do the food anyway. I want the, the mess table, and we can set up a great hall. There we go. I already have that in. I've overrun the wire, but there you go. I'm just going to ask them to dig that first. No, that's fine, Kemp. By all means, chip in. I'm happy to have someone in the chat that's uh, that's talking to me because I say I sat here for two hours by myself <laughs> on the last stream, and uh, it's definitely much more interesting to have someone to to talk to. Uh, I'm happy to have the input. I'm going to say I'm going to try and make this. Probably it's more as a series of videos more than actually a stream in itself. Um, I know there's some some other streamers that are oh hello right um, that wanted kind of a bit of a some help on tutorials of how to how to start up a base and and particularly with the all achievements. Oh, hiya, Slew Jimmy, you're right. <laughs> 
Yep, just in time. So, cycle three, I'm going to take this bit um, because I need a rancher. Uh, agriculture is kind of ranching. I don't like the noodle arms, so that kind of sucks. But, oh, we do have an increased husbandry here. We'll take that. Machinery. So machinery's rubbish, and the allergic's rubbish. I tell you, I'm going to take this bit. I need to take someone. Um, and she is going to be my rancher. So, so like I was saying, the, f the fourth dupe gets the skill that they come with, and they will get that before your original starting dupes get their first skill. So that's why I usually take the rancher on cycle three. Yes. Brilliant. So, just going to grab that skill, and we'll get ready for ranching. Um, focus very much for the first 10, 20 cycles is just setting up the ranches, getting the research done to let you do it. So, going out here and also finding those damn hatches. So, let's put this in. Two, three, four. I plan this out, and then the normal hatch ranch um, will be. It needs to be 96 tiles because uh, each hatch requires 8 tiles of space or they get cramped. So you need 96 tiles, but we don't just use a rectangular room because the hatches will wander the length of the room, which is not good. So what we do is we put a door in the middle so they can't get past, and we kind of confine them to this area but keep the space in the room. I think a lot of you guys know that. So, space-wise, I need to leave room for a grooming station, which is too wide. I will need a critter drop-off or, a, or a, an egg drop-off. Um, that's really not good. Don't pee on the food. That's, that's a free tip for you. Uh, so I need a grooming station, a drop-off or a, um, a storage box and a critter feeder. So I'm going to go with that and I'm going to put my door here. So that's going to give me five spaces and then put one tile above it because the ha I think the hatches can jump over two if I remember correctly. That's why I put one up. Four ranches of eight hatches will give you kind of what? Yeah, three or four, I think, is the correct number. Um, if you can do shove voles, that will also take some of the number out. Yeah, ranches up before dupes. I'll tell you what I do need as well. I will out, um, just out of caution, I'm going to put in a microbe musher. So the microbe musher is your emergency. I've run out of meat. Uh, and because we're doing locavore, we can't plant any... Uh, any plants. Now the other thing is to size this right. So the key is 25 because that's 100 tiles, minus 3 and then minus 1. So we leave that. That's now 96. Uh, we will need the hard digging skill to actually finish that, but that's fine. We've got some more research. Excellent. So we're working towards the mess hall. What are we doing on this max gas pressure? That's fine. So obviously the carbon dioxide is kind of pooling at the bottom. Uh, and the airflow is pretty poor. So this is this is quite typical. I do like to get airflow tiles and start popping those in. Ooh. You have to excuse me a second, I'm getting a phone call. <laughs>
secure the water ah yeah so on the topic of water supply you can get a little bit of pee in it and it won't it won't make too big a difference i don't think although you have said that it is spreading um that's not an issue <laughs> i don't work it I'm, I'm an engineer actually um so yeah we have got uh germs in the water supply but i'm not worried about it because we won't be eating any of this so as long as uh, we don't get infected from it we should be fine yeah that happened because this block did get built and someone got stuck on the wrong side of it so uh sword's law that happens of course uh can't say that's ever happened to me recently and then uh you go put a stream on and suddenly uh you get pee in the water but that, it wouldn't be an only stream without pee in the water i don't think so uh Oh, if you can tick that box off. Um, uh, um, righty. Where are we at? Oh, I can't do that. To <laughs> more no that's not Moore's law Moore's law is the uh, the doubling every uh, every two years of technology yes uh, Murphy's law I always knew it as Sod's law <laughs> if it can go wrong it will go wrong um, right alright I'll be with you in uh, one second Right, okay, so I'm back with you for now. So, sorry, I've let the research go. So we've got the the mess table, so I'm, I was thinking power, we can do power. I'm also thinking we may as well get the flower pot and the automation, so that's important. Now, I want a dining room, so let's pop that in here. Hmm. Always keep the dupes busy, that's the important thing. Don't let them sit around. And we can do three, four, put a water cooler in. Ooh, we've got to make this rock, very nice. Uh, and I'm also going to start trying to define the base. So I want to box in the area to make sure I can oxygen, temperature, germ control it. Now I think I like to make it rectangular with a with a big CO2 pit at the bottom. So what I will do is, because this this left side is kind of being dictated by these stables, the right side isn't, so I can pretty much put the edge here. So already I'm kind of thinking my base is going to be, just let it save before I drag dig commands, kind of this shape. Um, and I'll do a, a 16 rooms on the right and 24 sized rooms on the left. I'll put in some more stables here and if I need any more rooms I'll expand up here. We'll let him go, keep the researching going. We haven't got any skills yet. Pretty close. Rowan should be pretty close. Just check. We can enable harvest on those. We can nab that. A lot of copper over here. Oh, good. Ah, and we've got a. Um, this isn't a swamp biome anymore, is it? What do we call it? <laughs> I've always left the disinfect on for the for the bathrooms. Not sure it makes any difference to be honest, you probably uh, could leave it on. I don't think it takes too much time so I'm going to leave it, but I probably could. I am going to disable this uh, and I'm going to suppress the notification, that's a mod there because I hate those uh, those notifications. But you don't need this to be enabled for this to be a... Uh, for this to be counted as a recreational building. I can build a decorative pot that doesn't invalidate the local floor. I can do that because this should now be a great hall. Once that's in, it is exactly 32, and we have a great haul. So that's plus six morale, cycle five, and we're uh, we're well ahead. 
<laughs> so, where are we going? So I'm going to keep digging. That's the key thing here is keep digging and dot around the oxalite. So let's see, I can dig that up, dig that up. And I will want to put in floors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave room for airflow tiles. So I have a specific spacing pattern that I always use. Um, which would look like oh, two in, three in this side. So then I put one every four tiles. Uh, and I'm going to build like this. Now the reason I've left those is so I don't have to replace them later. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, Could catch on that. Well, that makes much odds. But... Um, and it is important to dig up the the stable floors because the hatches burrow, and if they burrow, I don't think you can um, you can groom them or anything. But well, they do do that at night, so definitely make sure your floors are uh, tiled. Although this bit's um, irrelevant now. <laughs> because I'm mostly dealing with that. So I'm going to keep building out for the three down here. I will need an area for um, for incubators. Now, you I think you need roughly oh actually I'm going to get any point four incubators per stable. Good. So hard digging and. Advanced researching. Two most important ones, and we can now dig this out. Research complete, and I have access to the advanced research too. So I'm kind of thinking toilets and sinks. Well, I could go for power. I will need power. Uh, I definitely want to set up a spawn ASAP. That's another goal for me. Although. Oh, I don't know how close I am. Do I need to go for the ranching bits? Because uh, I'm quite way off that. Okay, I'm going to go for power first. Because that's always good. Now, uh, again, say none here. Oh, I do have a blueprint for this, but I haven't uh, used it. And again... Now, I also want to be exploring some more. Uh, oh, now hold on. Before I do that, what I actually want is not to extend this main ladder and pole down the middle because I will need Atmo suit exits on the side. So I want to close the base, exit via the side, and then the pole and ladder up here. Now, where I put that could be important because what I'm thinking is later down the line these stables will disappear and I would prefer to have 16s on both sides because it's more standardised rather than these in this. If I commit to putting the exosuit docks on the left I will have to resize or move them later potentially whereas I think if I put them over here I can leave them in place but I haven't exactly decided how I'm going to do it. There's, there's multiple ways where I've done it to add another uh, column of ladders and poles and then a suit area and done that on every level I've kind of done some where you can get out on one level or a couple of levels um, you can do that as in eating into the room space so if that's the room space I could put them here or I could close off the room and add a separate room on the side there's lots of different options but I'm trying to plan for that um, I can't see any geezers or vents along here that would kind of make me go left and right. See, there's one here um, to do that trick as a chlorine gas vent, which would be pretty useless, but it's there. Shiny. So I can kind of go a bit freeform with it. I'm thinking in order to try and keep this standardised, I would like to keep this as a normal room size. Then I will put a door in so I can like, keep this as a rec room. And then I'm going to put suit docks here. Now, how to size this, I don't know. Um, for me personally, I don't think I'm going to play this base much beyond 
the tutorial I'm trying to make here for 100 cycles. So I will size it for... I wonder if 20 is a good good shout. Um, you don't want too many in a row. It kind of makes the piping difficult. So I, I kind of go with maybe 7 or so in a row. So if I do 7 across 3 levels, that's 21 docks. That should cover me. And also, one of the ch challenges, achievements, is to have 20 dupes. So we're going to need that at least. Okay, 1, 2, already 2 done. So, um, I don't know which one it is now. That was it. No place like clone. There we go. Um, so we definitely need at least 20. If I was going to be bigger, if I wanted uh, you know more like a 100 dupe challenge, I might plan it out a bit differently. But I'm going to go for 7, and I'm going to go for leaving this as the main access and they can kind of come up here and choose the right the right one. So 7 suit docks, plus 1 for the checkpoint, and then that lets me put the, the door and wall in here. So the door and wall in here, and then the ladder will go to the right of that. And that's going to be that. So I'm using WSD to um, keep a straight line. Another way of doing that, if you hold down shift, you can also um, keep a straight line. I kind of prefer the WSD method. I'll dig this out. And again, I'm looking for all these buried things because there could be something in there. There's a hatch in that one. Got it. So important to make sure we find all these buried objects. Or it could just be muckroot. That's good. We'll do that before Ashcan suffocates himself. So, a lot of prep work at this point. And, and I think really the goal I tend to go for with carnivore is you want to at least aim for getting all of the eating done kind of in the last 40 cycles. So I tend to aim for 10 dupes by cycle 60. That will give you uh, 10,000 kilocalories a day. And if you can provide all of that as barbecue, that will get you done in 40 cycles. So the first 60 cycles for me are kind of a setup. Get everything dug out, researched, planned in. Get your, your farms up, your ranches up. And then, uh, then you set yourself up to complete carnivore. Once, once you're off carnivore, you're kind of on easy street because that is the... The most challenging one so blueprint um i don't think i want a second dupe at this point um these aren't great so i'm just gonna take the sand and i will need to start taking them to to keep the population up um remember if you're aiming for 10 by 60 it, it takes three cycles obviously per per dupe so you've got to factor that in don't get caught out uh, too short on Cheaps. We might have to add more later on than you were planning. This bit probably isn't that exciting, but I think probably the key the key lesson is just preparing, planning. So I've got a I've got a nice structure here, which will then turn into my my full base later on. Uh, and importantly, going for this. Uh, because I want to go up, and I want to go up because I can get shovels, and shovels will uh, will give me lots more free meat. I can also uh, murder some of these dracos. They're not great for branching for food, but you know if they'll help towards the count, just try not to exterminate them off your map because that will uh, that'll be difficult to undo unless you get a printing pod. So kill as many as you need and plug slugs the same I would eat those in a heartbeat if, uh, if it helps get my get my number up ooh there's I think there's shovels on Oceana. I don't think it's any different to a Terra. Um, I thought all of the classic maps have shovels at the top. Unless I... Uh, 
That's so why I got it. Got that wrong. I suppose we'll find out. Uh, I am doing this in a way that shuffles aren't required. Um, so you can do it entirely with hatches, and this will work entirely with hatches. Uh, the shuffles are worth 20,000 barbecue each, so that makes life a lot easier. So, I'll tell you what, uh, I feel like they're prioritising going down rather than up, and I want to go up. Just because I think the oil might be a bit everywhere on this map. Yeah. Oh, not in space to... Ah, right. Okay. That may well be the case. That the, um, yeah, the shuffles are only on the regolith planet, which would make sense. Um, but this won't hurt anyway. Space access is always good, particularly in Spaced Out, because we can access it a lot earlier than the base game. Um, and it lets me dump stuff into space too, which is, you know, useful. So... I'm going to put those in as tiles, just to dig out the missing stuff. And I'm going to continue this floor over here. Dig that out, and we'll be careful not to drop this load of water everywhere. Although if it ends up down here, it's not the end of the world. In fact, I could do that as a controlled spill at this point. And then, uh... right, research is done. So I've got batteries. What else did I want? I do need the ranching stuff when it's getting close, this but still a while off. So I'm not going to rush for that. I am going to go for the liquids. That's a good point, we can add that, where we need to put this. I'm just keen on keeping the uh, the rooms together, because you lose that, you lose two room bonuses. So I'm just going to get the room built out first, and what I will do, I, I'm going to do a controlled spill of this water to uh, down here, although that's currently not big enough to take it. So I'm going to dig this out a bit more. And I can kind of gauge how much this is. This is 1, 2, 7, 18, uh, 21, 2, 29. Ooh, there's got a lot of water in here. 34 tiles of water. Which is going to be about two and a half of those. Mm. Tricky. Tricky. So we'll take that out like that. Ah, they can sleep on the floor for a while. <laughs> and, uh... Right. But we can we can pop those in. Um and I think this is gonna be the wall. This will be the outer wall of the base. I don't have a... Um, I don't have that yet. Why oh, is this not building? Ah, uh, dig it. Right, I will need to make a quick 
phone call. Which is maybe two seconds. keep going for now I think we're okay so sorry where was I now um, what I was think I was gonna do is the ranching stuff just to cover myself off because ranching is the most important thing right. mm -hmm. yes I am indeed from the UK I am English you may be able to tell from my accent So hopefully my English should be good. If not, uh, there's very little hope for the world. Uh, so I need to keep emptying this. Keep the research going, keep the digging. I'm going to empty this water over here just to get it out of the way. Well, I've got an even bigger pool down here. I can just keep cascading this water into one big pit. Cool, I think we're sorted with that work problem, so hopefully that's me done. Cool. Bro. It's a bit of a waiting game, really. Must probably be should should be looking to take on a fifth duke. England would be the lower eastern part of the Big Island. Well, that yes, I think lower eastern is probably a fair description, given Scotland's in the north and uh, uh, Wales is in the west. The one not occupied, but us in the eleven hundreds. Not occupied. Are we talking 1100s? Are we talking Vikings? Have we got a Scandinavian? There seems to be a lot of Norwegians that, that like uh, that like oxygen not included. So. Yes, that's the one. It's good to get my, my periods right for history. Ah, so you're Danish. Yeah. I think I remember that because you were talking to um, well, the uh, bee vampire in uh, is a Norwegian, of course. Right. <laughs> so I am opening this up here. I don't have suits on. I'm not too worried. The temperatures aren't bad. The breathability isn't a problem. I'm not actually too worried about opening chlorine or hydrogen into my base. Um, usually because the area is so big that I can kind of deal with it and also I'm going to shut this off so oh, oh hold on that should be dug through there so so where are we digging so we're still digging up here We've dug this out is this big enough to take it 28 30 oh and that's on 200 yes okay so yes we can empty this out just getting to do that <laughs> Ooh, now a big tidal wave is going through our dining hall, so... Now, can I take a person? I probably can, and that one is looking really good. Although both of these two are quite good. So again, I, I'm looking for the triple um, there. I like... Athletics is always good. I need cuisine. Medicine's not so useful. Agriculture... You know, this does have husbandry, but I probably won't go husbandry this. I will need more... I need a second rancher. I think two ranchers is the minimum requirement. You can probably get away with two, maybe three. So you don't need to go that heavy on it. I'm going to take Travaldo. Um, yeah, and we should be fine. I love teasing the, the Swedish. <laughs> yes. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of wars going on with the Scandinavian countries and Russia as well. Oh no, Jean's got hypothermia. Oh well, suck it up. 
Right, and meanwhile, Travalo comes in with a new skill. We're going to give him Grillin because we need that. And Jean has finally got hers here. So she's not the pilot. No, who was my pilot? Ah, uh, yes, Rome's my pilot. I'm going to give him the research. Uh, uh, the research. You need one, but two is good. Yes. Four hatches and one track. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think three is the minimum. So uh, I've got people sitting around. I don't like. Why are you sitting around this bit? Uh, three is the minimum of, uh, hat of hatch ranches. I'm going to go with at least two ranches. I think that's safe. Um, but I don't need them immediately. Now, they're going to get a bit wet in the dining hall. They're going to have to live with that. Stick that out. Ah, and I have a. Uh, a cold biome up here, which is lovely. Cold biome's the best, just the sleep wheat, free sleep wheat to live off. I always say, leave it un undisturbed um, and uh, harvest the crap out of it, because that is just absolutely free food. There's there's no reason to dig that up. Um, I will dig straight through it, because having the ladder is more important. But beyond that, I'm going to try and not unfreeze this by opening it up, digging it out, I will leave it un undisturbed except for access to the plants so I can actually get to the get to harvest them and uh, and get the the grains out of them. That. The water's uh, I say slowly draining, it's definitely a lot quicker than pumping it because you, know, you get 10 kilos a second whereas this you can literally trip uh, tons. Go. So this will all drain out, we'll mop it up Yeah, the morale requirements were definitely covered on. I just don't know if there's an athletics penalty to the hypothermia. That's the thing. She looked like she was walking pretty slowly, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're definitely fine on morale. Right, so that's draining into there. Research complete. Brilliant. So we can do that. And uh, what I want, ideally, is the... I want that airlock and I want some insulation tiles so I can start building the sides of the base. I'll need some igneous rock. So just gonna keep going. Um I can do this quicker with an S dig, but I don't usually do that. <laughs> That's alright. Type away I can uh I can interpret what you're saying. Good, so this has probably stopped dripping so we can put a mop on that to get the uh Wet feet every time they go to eat. And there's quite a few kilos of water here, which will go straight into the supercomputer. So that's uh, that's a win too. Cool. Uh, I did want the airflow tiles as well. So airflow is pretty poor, but the key areas are. Uh, Right, um, I'm conscious that this needs somewhere to drain to, though. Um, I'm always tempted to drain this right down. <laughs> I'll do a, I'll do a quick Google. <laughs> See, if you don't know, check the wiki. That's how I, how I do it. Um. Yeah, there are penalties to hypothermia. So science minus five, machinery minus five, cuisine minus five, and construction minus five. Uh, so yeah, there there are some debuffs. It's not the end of the world, but uh, I think avoid it if you can. Oh, I see regolith. Uh, so that's going to be the space biome. So this is quite high up. That's good. Now I haven't found any of the other geezers yet. There are. I've, I already know what's on this map because I've chosen the seed. Um, so I know there should be some metal volcanoes around. So I'm going to put the grooming stations there. I can put. Um, I'll put critter drop-offs because I'll use those, and I can also use the critter feeder. Two, three. And then I'll need to close these out, obviously. Um, what I'll do is I'll change that to a tile, 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 and I'll close it out. But until Nisbet gets her ranching skill, 
that's uh, that's kind of irrelevant. Um, there is regolith on Terra, Kem. If it's on the classic size map, this is a classic size map. I don't feel referring to the the normal spaced out. Um, that definitely doesn't have shove balls. When I played the Terra Classic, it did have shove balls and regolith. So um, we may well find them. We'll see. Who knows? We're on a voyage of discovery. So, okay. Ah, oh, I've got airflow tiles. Awesome. So I can whack those in and to Um, is three enough? I should probably leave room for four. Leave room for four. So if I, I'm just making sure the key bits are dug out, and this is how I space it once every uh, once every four tiles. And then the edge is going to be here, so I'm getting the insulated tiles, we'll do that. Cool, we'll set this to hatch and hatchling, priority 9. Yeah, yeah, so this is this is a classic size space out map. 4, hmm, yeah. I think 4 is unnecessary, I think 3 is the minimum. So, uh, I'm going to go with 3 and see where we get to. <laughs> If we need four, we'll, we'll do a fourth one, but uh, that's not a problem. So we'll start setting these up. I'm going to feed them sandstone. That will start generating stone hatches, but we kind of don't care. We'll just do whatever we want. Um, so there's an, just any, anyone that gets me sediment, sandstone. Oh no, stone hatches are sedimentary, aren't they? Not sandstone. Apologies, I'm confused. Uh, and then I can put, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Well, what if I do that? Oh, there's a hatch in there. I buried him in the tile. Yep, that's true. I will need the incubators. So, uh, right, brilliant. So I've got the insulated tiles. I've got the ventilation. I've got the toilets. What I want to start working towards is a spawn. So let's do that. Do I get the oxygen ones? There we are. Let's electrolyzer. We've got that as a door. So I think I'm just going to chuck the incubators over here. Probably oh, there's water in that room and that room. Good, good, good. I can tidy that up. Yeah, and this will just sort the airflow out completely, and then we're in the clear. That is true, we will need the refined metal. So I should start working on that. So I'm going to swap the research to the rock crusher. And we'll start that. So, the, yep, and this bit's still a way off getting that. And we are starting to build up some CO2 down here. So, the base, I can go for another one like that. And that is not. Too much water to CO2 sink for concerned food. Now, yeah, on the topic of storing food, I think a fridge is fine. Um, particularly with carnivore, usually you don't have enough food <laughs> rather than too much food. Um, so just having a fridge by itself, you'll eat the food long before it spoils. So I don't worry too much about, uh, yeah, that's true, about storing food. I'll just plop a fridge down and be done with it. And then I'll work on a deep freezing solution later on. Yeah, that sand will fall, you're right, but we'll, um, we'll catch that. Cool, cool, cool. And now also what I can do is I can start putting the insulation around the base. 
Oh, why did I put a door in here? I'm an idiot. Um, yeah. Don't do that. So this needs to be installation. And I always make the installation out of this rock. Um, because of the, the thermal conductivity is less. Means I, I will need to dig some more. So research is done. Cool. I'm get back on the electrolyzer. And for the rock crusher, I can plop that in. Wire that up. So, insulated tiles are the edge of the base. So currently I've got a nice temperature zone. This is going to be my core base. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave four here. So this will be the top of the base. The base is going to be this big, plus a sink. Now, inside here is nice and 22 degrees, perfect for dupes, perfect for plants. Um, outside here is hot. So I just like using insulated tiles, it keeps the, the temperature in uh, and reduces the cooling requirements later on, particularly when you try and pull this down. Once you strip mine the map out, you'll find everything heats up. So do we want any of these? There's an agriculture, but not a husbandry. Um, I'm going to stick with the fertilizer. I don't want to take too many too early. Do you want a sieve behind a washroom? Uh, yes, I will want a sieve, but there's no reason I can't put the sieve on the outside. So I can I, um, I can build this across here with tiles and then put the sieve outside. Not a problem. That's what I did on the last map. Uh, and that will be suit access only. Uh, dupes will wash their hands because this is this is one way, so there'll be no exit through the through here. It's a dead end. And Rowan's got that, so I'll go for... I'm going to go for field research first, because it's more useful. And research focus. So we've got the electrolyzers. Um, I'll need more power, I'll need the gas pumps if we've not already to have them. I'm not going to go for masks, because that's not necessary. I do need the Atmos sensors. And the sieve. I'm going to go for the sieve. Let me pop back in one second and let it run. 